With today's announcement, the Sun Belt gets bigger, but more importantly, gets better with the addition of Georgia State. And under the leadership of President Becker and Cheryl Levick, Sun Belt is very confident that Georgia State will have immediate success in the Sun Belt, and it won't be long before Sun Belt team, or excuse me, that Georgia State teams will be winning Sun Belt championships, that Georgia State student athletes will be participating in Sun Belt championships and NCAA championships and NCAA bowl games. It truly is a partnership where both the Sun Belt and Georgia State are in similar positions with tremendous upside, tremendous potential. The Sun Belt looks forward to adding the state of Georgia to, its arc, to our, the collection of states, and especially the city of Atlanta and the entire Atlanta community. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Chancellor of Troy University and the President of the Sun Belt Conference Board of Directors, Dr. Jack Hopkins. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Benson. What a pleasure it is to be with you this afternoon. I would hasten to say how proud we are to have uh, Carl Benson as our new commissioner. He was the uh, commissioner of the MAC for 18 years commissioner of the Western Athletic Conference and most recently uh, came to the Sun Belt to provide leadership. And I can assure you all the member institutions are, are excited by the, the, the leadership in this conference. Likewise, we're excited by the announcement today. I report to you, and I'm very proud to report to you that academically, athletically, and financially, the Sun Belt has never been stronger than it is today. However, I think we add yet another strength to this conference with this announcement. And so on behalf of the, the board, the CEOs, and all affiliated with the Sun Belt Conference, uh, Dr. Becker, it's a, a real pleasure for me on behalf of the conference to invite Georgia State University as our next member. Welcome home. wonderful day in the life of Georgia State University. Mr. Commissioner, Chancellor Hawkins, on behalf of the university, I am pleased to formally accept the invitation to join the Sun Belt Conference. The process of getting to this day started with a careful and detailed analysis of the feasibility of Georgia State making the move to an FBS conference. And that, that analysis showed very clearly that GSU is well positioned for the move to FBS and that the Sun Belt Conference in particular provides an excellent fit for athletics program. Georgia State's move to the Sun Belt is a bit like deja vu all over again. As has been noted, Georgia State was one of the six founding members of the Sun Belt back in August of 1976. I'm not going to tell you where I was in August of 1976, but it was not at this level. With our re-entry into the Sun Belt, we look forward to adding value to the conference, and we look forward to the gains accruing to Georgia State as a full member institution in the Sun Belt Conference. There's every reason to expect that today's announcement will yield significant benefits for both the Sun Belt Conference and for Georgia State for many years to come. And at Georgia State, we're particularly excited about the leadership and vision that the university presidents and Commissioner Benson 
are providing the Sunbelt Conference as we look forward to the future together.